children tend to have vivid hopes and dreams of what they want to be when they grow up. Some want to be firefighters, some want to be professional athletes, even superheroes. Then there are those who want to be astronauts. While it's not common for these dreams to be fulfilled, perhaps just having the chance to meet an astronaut in one's lifetime could bring back the hope of doing something great. This is, this is an opportunity for us to come back and, and give back to the, a little bit of something to the troops that are out here. Of the six astronauts on the tour, five are active duty military with the U.S. Army, Air Force and Navy, which also gave them a unique perspective toward the troops serving downrange. So if you know, we can come out, talk to them, talk to them about space and uh, give them a little bit of diversion from their daily routine, um, then we've done our job out here. When deploying, service members expect to end up in Iraq or Afghanistan. For astronauts, it's often space, but they're here instead. Coming into you know, Afghanistan, I don't think, is something that anybody has really planned on or thought about. But the opportunity came up. Armed Forces Entertainment um, had asked if we would be interested in coming up, coming out here and, uh, and doing a tour like this. And uh, we said, yes, we'd do it. During the visit, the astronauts met some old co-workers without even realizing it. It's just an amazing coincidence that uh, you know, we're based out of Patrick Air Force Base and we support the launch and recovery operations. You know, we're here at Kandahar and they're also you know, here as well. So it, it's, it's awesome. It's incredible seeing them you know, in person. They came over here you know, this far, uh, 6,000 miles across the world. These astronauts have the best of two worlds. Not only are they able to serve their country and raise the morale of deployed troops, but they are also living a childhood dream. Marine Corporal Kimberly Crawford, Kandahar Airfield, Afghanistan.